This video is sponsored by Wahid Invest. It is for those looking for investments in line with Islamic principles. They're official, legit, and worth looking into. Do educate yourselves to the pros and cons of investing. Link in the bio. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Now in the haram world of MMA, Oron Kalon came face to face with Afghanistan's Javed Basharat. And during the face to face, he called him a terrorist, which is quite ironic because we all know Israel's obsession with Palestinian kids, arresting them, beating them up, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> now before I start, I wanted to give a big shout out to the one that's known as Umar, who I see, mashallah, is really making the most of that super thanks button without me even having to ask. Jazakallahu khair, because we know he who does not thank the people has not thanked Allah. So the background behind this was the Afghan was not happy because the Israeli had not made weight. So when the Israeli put his hand forward, the Afghan didn't want to entertain all that sort of stuff. Yeah, but rather than, oh, what's his name, uh, Oron. Yeah, rather than, I don't want to keep calling him the Israeli. Yeah, so, the or he cannot read. So, the Oron, <laughs> so Oron, yeah, he's not an object. Uh, so, Oron, uh, rather than taking it on the cheek, I, I don't know how you describe it. I mean, he, he dirty tactics, tried to incite him, tried to get the match cancelled, tried to make him look bad. Whatever the case may be, he resorted to those means. But respect to Javed, who didn't take the bait. So, whatever you say, you're representing the sport. So, there's people watching and I had to make sure I punished him for that. And you can't get away with speaking like that, you know? Well, to be fair, Oron was partly right. Because during the match, he did get terrorized. <laughs> and indeed, he lost in the third round by means of submission. And Javed made sure he bruised him. Did, did you get that, yeah? He bru... He bruised him. <laughs> Yeah, it's really not nice. <laughs> you see that? What do you mean I fired? It's my show. The, the terrorist comment. And, yep. Um, I don't know if, if you thought about doing anything. Uh, are we going to do anything? It got done tonight. <laughs> Justice gets served at the end of the day. Now, fighter's pride and his dignity means everything to him. So, some fighters, even when they're getting beaten to a pulp, will go down with a fight. But my guy right here, even in the fight, couldn't maintain his decorum and his dignity, frankly. I was like, I'm just going to make him suffer a bit more. I was talking the, to him in there and I was like, man, it's crazy like how you don't, you're not speaking now. I didn't hear a word from him. I didn't hear one word, not even like, shut up. As for Javid, not only did he win the match, but he also won a contract with the UFC. I was blown away by, by the entire performance. Welcome to the UFC, brother. This is a big deal for fighters, yeah? It's like a footballer getting to the Premier League or a basketball player getting to the NBA. Enough respect to Javed because it displayed class, yeah? He told his fans, yo. By the same time, guys, you don't need to stoop to, to his level. And especially as a Muslim, you know, we are advised not to do this either. Unfortunately, though, the Israeli, let me, uh, Oron, or on the Israeli didn't show that level of class. I'm okay, like I'm okay to forgive and forget and it's cool. But how unapologetic he was about the whole thing, just, just I was just like, this guy's a real douchebag. And what was interesting was when Dana White was asked about all this, here's what he said. Do you ever feel that there is a line though that you gotta worry about? Like, hey, maybe that was a little too far? No. no. Not not in this business, I don't. Yeah. Mean things are said. And this insanely politically correct world we're living in, this is one place that is not. I'm not sure I agree with that because had Javed retaliated and made an anti-Semitic comment, not only would he have been cancelled, but most likely his UFC contract would have been torn up. In fact, here in the UK, a couple of weeks ago, we saw Professor David Miller, who spoke against Israel and got fired from Bristol University frankly a university that no one should be bothering with now <laughs> you know what I'm saying so we started a petition for him which link in the description you can still sign it it's currently on 33,000 signatures that's right 
And David himself said how glad and appreciative he was of all you guys signing the petition. So guys, we saw a very amazing message, I would say, of a person who didn't let the emotions get the better of him because anger does that. Yeah, I went to a self-defense class a while back. And one of the instructors was saying when people get angry, the blood goes from the prefrontal cortex and gets shifted from there. So in essence, you can say a person that's angry is not thinking properly. Yeah, in fact, when people get angry, you know what they say? They say, you don't know who I am, do you? Yeah, I'm going to tell you who I am. <laughs> it's like the person's completely different. So when you're angry, we're told even in the religion, don't discipline your kids when you're angry. Even with friends like Abu Bakr radiallahu and when he was angry, he told the people around him, look, just leave me. Otherwise, I'm going to say something that I'm going to regret. Yeah, and the Prophet peace be upon him tells us that when you're in, when you're in such a gathering that's really riling you up, move from there. Yeah, go somewhere else. Yeah, if you're standing, sit down. If you're sitting, lie down. Drink water, do wudu, calm yourself. Very, very important. In fact, look back at the five, six times when you said stuff out of anger and the amount of clearing up you had to do afterwards. Don't you guys remember Kung Fu Panda? Hill, hill. Your mind is like this water, my friend. When it is agitated, it becomes difficult to see. But if you allow it to settle, the answer becomes clear. Don't feel the need to react when you are angry. And if somebody does react when they're angry, give them a break. Yeah, don't hold them with their word. Yes, in anger, what's in our heart does come out, but it comes out in a very distorted, toxic, venomous way. So you have to filter through that and get to the point. Yeah, a, a, a wife that's waiting for the husband, if he comes late, she might say, you're never home on time. And if he hooks onto those words and says, what do you mean I'm never home on time? And then a big argument happens, but he needs to sift through that and be like, uh, love, did you prepare something that you wanted me to come home for? She's like, yeah, I did. I spent ages making it. I wanted you to try it. Apologize. Let's, let's try it now. Yeah. So what he's now done is he's deciphered that, got to the root of the problem. Bish, bash, bosh. Let's leave it there, guys, until next time. Are we going to do anything? It got done tonight. Oh! Assalamu alaikum.